So I'm back doing some more Life is Strange. It it feels a little weird to be doing this again. At first I had recorded this, all of episode three, and then it all just decided to get corrupted while I was making that Last of Us video. So um, for the past couple of weeks, I've been out with this horrible cough. I got bronchitis and stuff like that. So um. Yeah. So now I gotta start all over again. Dang. Oh well, let's do this. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. this max there was no eclipse scheduled today i believe you warren i believe anything this week so who else is wondering when warren is actually going to try to make a move on max like we've been waiting for like three episodes is he going to do it this time in this episode, hopefully. I hope he does. Because, like, I, I want to say that Max likes Warren in some sort of way. But what would I know about love? The past four relationships I've been in, I've been cheated on. That's, that doesn't feel too good. <laughs> Thought Square Enix was gonna pull a cheap one here and make it so that I can't monetize this video. That'd be hilarious for them to do that again. Like I think in the first episode they played that song. I think it went we play I didn't seek in waterfalls. I couldn't even think about monetizing that video. Crow in the background. Hey, the plant's name is Lisa. That's nice. Kate! I got a text. We knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. All right, let's do this, Max. All right, let's look at this plant. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Oh, we drowned the plant? Oh, that's horrifying. Let's feed the bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. You can have pets on campus? I didn't know you could do that. Um, before we go, we're gonna look around this room for a second. Because in my first, or my second video of Life is Strange, I forgot that, uh, Max could play the guitar. 
that actually really bad that I missed out on that. Oh well. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Well, the thing is about Kate, she looks the same as she does in every other picture. She's not really smiling on that great or something like that. What's well, uh, the timetable? <laughs> Not even supposed to be out at night. It's way past curfew. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. Hey, who else's battery level drops like down like 40% when that happens? Because I can't do that with my phone. Like as soon as I turn on that light for more than like 50 seconds. It's just my battery level just drops like a rock. Or stone. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Can I blame her? I feel like I should blame her. I'm a blamer. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're, like, blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. I am. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. Oh, the butterfly effect thing didn't show up. Sweet, let's, let's see what happens when I comfort her. Max. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. I can't tell. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> um, where did she go? Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. You just said that she wasn't victorious. Okay, so now we can go back. Let's go back. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I feel like, in some forms, if we complete oh, every Victoria conversation... Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I want to. But we're gonna do that in a hey, second. I wanna talk to her. in here for a minute? Hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. She was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. What well, was she on the roof? Kate was serious. That's all you know? That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. Oh. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. I know the butterfly effect thing didn't show up. Hey, Dana. But I just don't want to seem like a jerk to everybody. 
We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. While everybody else sat down and laughed. Where was everybody? That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Oh, don't think like that, Dana. I'm not better than anybody else here. The only person I'm better than is Dana and her friends. I mean, no, not Dana. I'm talking about the, um, the girl in the bathroom and her friends. Victoria and her friends, I mean. Wherever you go, there I am. Yeah. Let's go through her stuff. Going through Victoria's stuff. We've already been here before, but we're going to be in here again. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective... I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Oh, Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Um. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. It's just $30. It doesn't really cost that much. <laughs> like, 30 bucks to remove... Here they are getting loaded with Satan. You know, 30 bucks to remove paint from a cashmere sweater, that's... That's not all that expensive. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Do you guys not lock your doors? Is that the thing here? Like, is there a... Is there a lock on the door? There's got to be a lock on the door. It can't be. It can't I'll title this one, on Portrait door. de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. You know, it, it makes me wonder, who took these pictures? And why were they taken? <laughs> Who took these pictures and why? We're gonna make this video a little bit of a long one because, like, I know what happens next, and um, it's it gets pretty interesting from here on out. Like, I won't go like a total of five or two hours doing this, but it it might be a little over thirty minutes. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Principal oh, Wells. Son of a bitch. Principal ah. Wells? Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. The man's drunk. He is just drunk as drunk can be. And when he sobers up, <laughs> he'll be sailing away at sea. I know. I I literally learned that I know I have pirate keys song. on me. Max the ninja strikes again. Ah, fuck. <laughs> just the way he says it, it's just hilarious. Oh, I am a drunk and as drunk as drunk can be. And when I sober up, I'll sail away at sea. Where's Chloe? That was one of my favorite drunk songs. I don't Booyah! drink, but okay. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the planes. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? 
I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I see the results. And then it's too late to rewind. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... I think she's dead. But I'm, for the sake of Chloe's feelings, I would just say kicking it. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? Pretty often. We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. There's somebody in the school. Here. There is somebody in the school. I just saw the lights go out. Let's Thank say that's Victoria. So oh, I was right. Together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? No, this game... Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. This game has no holds barred at its theme. Like, it seriously just went from a teenage girl trying to commit suicide to another girl trying to um, you know slut her way into perfection or fame. I Dude, guess. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? You can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. All right, I guess that's where I'm going to end the video. Um, I, 
I know I said I was gonna make it over 30 minutes long, but you know, stuff happens. So, um, that being said, I'll see you guys later on tomorrow, Income 13.